Plymouth died on the 21st of April, 1509. His son, Prince Henry, and his courtiers were immediately brought here from Richmond Palace to the Tower of London. Here they prepared the succession in secret. The cause for the secrecy was that they did not want anyone to challenge the 17-year-old Prince Henry's right to the throne. On St George's Day, the 23rd of April, 1509, Henry VIII was proclaimed King of England here. Henry VIII would use this palace, or sorry, use this, use this fortress for diplomatic reasons. He would invite diplomats, ambassadors from, uh, from Europe to visit the castle, to see the, the uh, wild, the exotic animals that were, that were held here. Also to show the arms that he had, the, the weapons that he had. As, 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 so, so these ambassadors could spread the word through Europe that he, Henry VIII was powerful and had the means to defend the, defend the country. It is also more commonly known as a, a place of imprisonment during his reign. Two of his wives were executed here, Anne Boleyn in 1533 and Catherine Howard in 1541. Sorry, 1542, um, and several other prominent individuals were incarcerated and later executed close to the Tower of London. What we're looking at here is the, the Bouchonch Tower. Inside, you'll see examples in one of the cells of lots of graffiti uh, on the stone, inscribed on the stone by the prisoners. One of them is, one of the, those um, examples is attributed to Thomas Abel, who was chaplain to Catherine of Harrigan, Henry VIII's first wife. And he, he, his name was Thomas Abel, and, and, and the inscription is Thomas above the bell with the A inside the bell. Now, Thomas Abel championed Catherine of Harrigan. Um, he supported her during the divorce proceedings and after the marriage of Henry VIII to Anne Boleyn, Thomas Abel refused to acknowledge Anne Boleyn as Queen. Abel also wrote a pamphlet against the King and what he was doing to the country in regards to the Catholic religion. It's in this tower that Beauchamp, sorry, that Abel was um, was incarcerated for six years and uh, he was executed by being burnt at the stake in Smithfield in 1540. And it's ironic that he was executed for, for, for even though the queen that he championed, Catherine, had died. The queen that he defied, Anne Blyn, she had been executed. And Thomas Cromwell, the advocate of the English Reformation, he'd been executed uh, weeks before his own execution. If we move further along, we have the bell tower. This is it's called the bell tower because inside there is a bell and it sounds the curfew each night. It's the second oldest tower in the Tower of London and it was here during the Tudor reign that Henry VIII's former Chancellor Sir Thomas More and Bishop John Fisher, the Archbishop of Rochester, were incarcerated during, the, during 1534 to 1535. Both men were devout Catholics and, and felt more aligned to the Pope in Rome than they did to the English King. Although they, they had allegiance to Henry VIII, they were, they were not going to compromise their faith, their Catholic faith. So, they refused to state the oath of allegiance to King Henry VIII and his heirs. They also accept, refused to accept Henry VIII as supreme head of the Catholic, sorry, supreme head of the English Church. And as a consequence, both men were tried for treason, and they were executed here. Well, they were executed in 1535. Now they were probably led out of the of that tower pass through the gates of the Bower Tower, which you see now, across the stone bridge, then are probably led close to where we're standing here. They're probably led 
towards Tower Hill. Just be, to the right of them trees is, would, would be the execution spot where a wooden scaffold would be erected and they were executed in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. We were witnessing this gory, gory spectacle. Um, 